Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about like a back to the basics kind of thing and you're you're probably staring at me like this bitch is talking about back to basics but yeah, her eyes are in full glam right now. Do not worry, I do not do the eyes in this video. I just kind of focus on the face, prepping it, priming it, foundation, concealer, all the steps that it takes to just kind of get the gist of where to put everything, how to put everything on, all that fun stuff. If I sound discombobulated in this video, then I will just probably do a voiceover. I'm letting you guys know now. I filmed this look last, um, about a week ago, and I hated the footage. It's just, I just didn't like the footage. Um, so I'm refilming it for you guys, and I just want to do like back to the basics kind of thing, because I know that I do like such dramatic looks, like as you can tell like on my eyes. And I really kind of just want to make sure you guys know like what I'm talking about. So I went down from prepping it, priming it, all the way to setting sprays, all that fun stuff. So if you guys want to learn how to like go back to the basics, then let's go ahead and get started. Let's get it started. Let's get it started in here. Ooh. Hey guys, so let's just go ahead and get into it i already have my brows on so we're going to go ahead and prime i'm going in with my makeup forever base smoothing primer and i'm just putting that um in like my problem areas just to like smooth out any texture that i have and kind of semi blur out my pores i'm gonna go in with a little bit of the cover fx illuminating not a lot but just a little bit on my cheek area I'm going to go ahead and spritz my face with my Urban Decay B6 spray. I freaking love this stuff. Alright, for foundation, I'm going to go in with my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. So excited for this, like you have no idea. I recently bought this last week. And I'm just so excited that I got it back in my life again. So I'm going to take a couple of pumps on it. The back of my hand and then we're just going to bounce it all in the day i'm actually going to mix just a slight bit of it with the makeup forever ultra hd just like one pump of this i want some coverage and dewiness and and when I apply the foundation with my Beauty Blender, you want to really push the product into the skin. So a Beauty Blender is damp, so once you're done pushing the product into your skin, it's going to, um, it's going to soak up excess product. If you don't like initially applying makeup with your Beauty Blender, like from the back of your hand or your, um, like plate, um, you can go ahead and apply with a brush and then push it in, but I just find it, I... Because I have dry skin, I just like the application from, you know, the pump to my hand, like, all that. So, but just do what works for you. You want to make sure you're pushing the product into your skin. You don't want to, like, do, like, swiping motions or anything like that because you're moving the product all around. If you're using a brush, too, but you just want to make sure that you're pushing in that product and then buffing it. So you want to push your product in first, and then you kind of want to blend. With a beauty blender, you can only kind of bounce. I wouldn't, like, roll it or anything like that. Like, you kind of want to bounce. If you were to use a brush, you would push in the product first, and then kind of buff it in circular motions. So we're going to move on to concealer now, and I'm going to take my Trust Ease. You definitely want to use a concealer that you're comfortable with. I'm comfortable with these. I know how they work. I know the, how they interact with my skin. So I take two shades. I take light neutral, and... This is the color where I apply the most just because it's kind of, it's one shade lighter than my skin tone so it's going to conceal but it's not three shades lighter than my skin tone where it's going to highlight as well. So I'm just going to put that in a triangle motion. I'm going to make sure I'm getting this inner part of my eye because I get a lot of darkness around here. Bring it up towards my nose just a little bit on the, on the sides of it because that's going to give the appearance of a slimmer nose. And then you just want to balance out the highlight by putting it at other high points of the face. So the chin, the cupid's bow. I put just a little bit on the tip of my nose because I don't like my shape of my nose. And I don't want to highlight that as well. And then you just draw a couple designs on your forehead. You can bring it past your 
Like bring it ne right next to your smile. That'll give it a nice like smile line, like natural contour. And then you could take the lighter shade. I'm taking Fair Neutral. And I'm just kind of just putting like a dab right over top of all the places that I put highlight uh, concealer. You do not have to use two concealers. If you have a, a concealer that works for you, it's like your right perfect like coverage and stuff like that and color by all means just go in with the one but we're just being a little high maintenance right now so we're going in with two and i'm going to take my beauty blender and i'm going to push that into my skin as well if you're using a brush you want to push it into your skin as well and then you want to blend it out by adding the concealer right here it's going to give you a nice guideline where you kind of want to contour it'll give you that natural like contour structure and you don't want to bring concealer all the way up here when you apply it you want to apply it right low and then you want to push it up towards your eye so before i go ahead and set that concealer i want to add a liquid highlight you could skip this step if you want i like the liquid highlight you can use benefit what's up i know um Becca makes a like poured kind of um, highlighter. I'm going to take the Sephora Drops. This is in the shade Morning Light. And I'm just going to take a little bit of it on the back of my hand. You can use your finger. You can use another beauty blender. You can use a brush if you want. I'm going to initially apply with my finger right to the apples. Not to the apples. Right to my like my cheekbones up onto that part then I'm just going to take a small dual fiber brush you could leave it like this if you want I'm just going to go ahead and set it with a highlight but not until we set our concealer because I don't want that to crease so I'm just going to go ahead and Push more product, push the product into my eyes again, kind of blend away the, blend away any kind of creasing that may have happened in between that like three minutes. I'm going to take my Kat Von D Shade Light Palette and I'm going to use Lyric, that middle color that I put pan on that I almost need a new palette for. And you're just going to put that wherever you... You're just going to put that wherever you apply your concealer. I'm going to go ahead and grab the MAC Select Sheer Pressed Powder. I'm in the shade NC35. I was going to grab NC30, but they didn't have it, so I thought 35 would work well too. And I'm just going to go ahead and set lightly, like these areas of my face. For bronzer, I'm going to grab my Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion and the Makeup Forever 122 brush and I'm just going to lightly start bronzing up my face. It'll also act as a transition shade for your contour. I'm going to throw it back a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and grab my um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and I'm just going to mix all those colors and just do a light contour using my MAC 109 I'm only taking a little bit of the product right on like a side of the brush because as I put it in there I'm going to use the whole brush it's going to blend out into the other bristles I don't want to go in and initially dip my whole brush in the product because it might look a little bit muddy it might look dirty anything like that so you just want to take it on the side and then once you initially put it there, just take the whole brush and blend it out. It will go into the bristles. I go ahead and set that highlight. I'm gonna grab the Anastasia Glow Kit. Um, it's that glow, I believe. Yeah, it's the that glow kit. And I'm just gonna mix pretty much all the shades besides um, golden bronze together. And we're just going to place that right over top of the liquid highlight. So I went ahead and did my eyes off camera. Um, I was I didn't want to film anything with the eyes because I just wanted to stick with my face. But I did use the Manny MUA Times Makeup Geek palette. 
So we're just going to finish off the face. We did highlight all that stuff. You can go ahead and add more. But we're just going to go on to blush now. I'm going to use this blush by Tarte. This is in the shade Doll Face. And I love Tarte blushes so, so, so much. They're my absolute favorite. So I'm just going to grab that on a Morphe E4. Because this brush does go in an angle, I'm just going to pick up the product right around here. So that way when we place it on our face, it will blend into the longer bristles and it will blend it out for you. So you just want to go ahead and maybe rub it right on the back of it, on the end of it. Tab of the excess. You want to smile so you get like the apple of the cheeks. That's where I want most of the product, right around here. And then you're just going to keep working it towards your contour, bronzer, and your highlight. It just gives a really nice light flush. Okay guys, so I am a firm believer in prepping sprays, setting sprays, all that stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and spritz my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I prefer the chill one, but my Sephora has been out of the chill for like so long. I haven't even like tried Ulta or anything like that just because I'm lazy. I picked this one up from Sephora. It's pretty much almost empty, so I'll just wait and I'll just go somewhere else for the chill. But I prefer the chill because I am I am very dry and the chill kind of just gives like a cooling sensation to the face and I love it. I like this one too, don't get me wrong. And they also have one for oily people. It's oily oil control, so I think it's called de-slick or something like that. So if you're oily, go ahead and use that as well. If you don't like setting sprays, if you're oily, that's totally up to you. Do you. But I'm just going to go ahead and spray myself. A generous amount because so this is the finished look minus the eyes but this is all of what my face looks like on that fun stuff so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys all in my next video bye